Good morning, everyone. This is Shashwat here from Design Teenage. Hope you all are doing well. And right now, at this point of time, right after, like, you know, your, or might be you will be giving the NATA first attempt after a few days, as far as the dates which you have selected. We all know that on uh, 6th of April onwards, the NATA first attempt exam has started, or the NATA exam has started, because right now there is no first, second, and third attempt. You can choose your dates respectively. Uh, the students who have given their first attempt, or first time they have written their NATA exam, we have one of our other students over here, Sara. Uh, previously, you have already checked out, uh, like, you know, the exam review, students' reaction and all, it's already there. Now, today, the session is all about, and most importantly about, definitely one of the other question sets that we have received. So, we will be able to justify, like, you know, in comparison with the previous one, then what is the probability that similar questions are coming? And if you are writing your first attempt right after a few days, I hope it, this video or like, you know, this discussion will help you a lot. And on the second part, the most important thing is that we are talking over here about the problems that is faced by a student during her exam. And like, you know, what are the issues or like, you know, related to the uh, question paper wise, as well as overall atmosphere and time complexity and whatever, like, you know, remaining things which work like, you know, coherently during the exam. So what are the issues faced by a student? We will talk about them in detail. If you have faced something similar, you can mention in the comments and connect to us to discuss in detail. Contact details of Design Teenagers mentioned in the description box. And we will try to help you out. Something major, we need to talk about it, like, you know, discuss it and try to figure out how we can connect with Council of Architecture and NATA regarding your issues. We have a mailing option for that as well. So connect us, like, you know, feel free, uh, feel free to connect us regarding the same. And share this video with all your friends so that they can also let us know whatever issues they have faced. And we can like, you know, try to understand how to recover from it. And if it is something like, you know, which has uh, been uh, done, like, you know, in a major aspect from the center or during your exam, there was some fault uh, at the place which you have given the exam or in the question paper, we can try to rectify it as far as like, you know, as our possible measures, which we will be able to take or we will be able to help you out with. So with this, we will welcome Sara over here. Sara, I guess I'm audible to you loud and clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the, like, you know, your overall experience of the exam. Just uh, like, you know, tell me in a phrase or two that how did the overall experience of the exam went? Like, you know, it, it was good, bad. It was somewhere in between. So just tell me an abrupt idea of about that. So overall, I will say the experience was good. It was not very nice also, but um, it was fine. As far as I had prepared, I could uh, perform to some extent. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are certainly some things which uh, the since the pattern has changed this year, some things were a surprise in the aptitude part as well as the drawing part. But mm -hmm. overall, I say it was good. Okay, fine. Now let's start with because the station we have like, you know, kept it quite focused towards the problems and all that are faced by a student. Uh, so let's start with like, you know, uh, most importantly, your exam center, like, you know, uh, what happened with your exam center? Like uh, you are from Goa and you had to give your exam, which is quite far, like, you know, you have to drive, I guess, around yeah. hours to Karnataka. What happened with your exam center? Like, you know, you selected something wrong or was it given like that? Uh, so we, we, um, we, uh, d decided to do the registration on the 13th of March. We opened the website and we uh, started a registration. We filled the fees and all the other formalities. But when it came to selecting the exam center, first of all, there was no center in Goa. Okay. So we uh, called. We also sent several emails and they just kept telling us that to wait for two, three days more. And then they would put the center in Goa. Was there a so we response waited. like, you know, as in that, okay, we are able to provide a center or no, we are not able to apologize for the same. And so this is what you can do. Was there a final response you did get or no, it was a measure taken by you just like, you know, because you will have to give the exam anyhow. They didn't uh, like particularly assure us that there will be a center, not did they say that there won't be a center at all. They just kept us in middle and they said, just wait for two more days, we'll make the changes. We sent them five emails and we did several calls. And finally, on 1st of April, we uh, chose the center in Belgao, Karnataka. 
because uh, that was still closer uh, rather than going to Mumbai. That was still better. So we chose that. And then after some days, I guess on uh, fifth or sixth, when we had again uh, checked the website, there was center in Goa a pan gym. But the thing is that they uh, just wait and yeah. just. Uh, and yeah, most they couldn't wait and take the risk. Most importantly, one point which you are missing is that students were not very sure or clear about that this random selection of dates was available. So considering at the very beginning what they have mentioned in their press release and all was 6th of April, first attempt. And it was clearly yeah. like first, not at 2024, first attempt, 6th of April. So everyone was considering that the, that is the date and in respect with that, like it's for the majority of the students, they have selected the date in that manner. And hence, like, you know, it was a risk uh, to wait more than 1st or 2nd of April. Got it. Now, uh, in the exam center, you went, uh, what was the, like, you know, check-in procedure and all, what, like, did all those things went smoothly before you went for your exam? Uh, yeah, there was no issues with that. Only when it came to logging in for the yeah, no, I'm actual coming exam. To that. I'm coming to that. So I'm just talking about your check-in and your like, you know, computer allotment and all was done, like system allotment and all. So now let's come to the exam point of view, which you wanted to talk about. And it is really, I guess, like, you know, uh, if there are students, other students like you as well. Now for your center, uh, like, you know, it was just five students, but uh, see, like, you know, this time what's happening is students are giving the exam throughout the month. So might be at the yeah. same center, students are facing the similar issues, like, you know, in the after, like uh, in the, uh, days that are going to come ahead and uh, they are also facing similar issues so we'll talk about that may I know the center in which you wrote the exam the full name of the same uh karnataka law societies gokte institute of technology Bergam. so that was your exam center right yeah okay now tell me what exactly like what is the exact problem you faced while writing your exam or before you even started writing your exam just uh, like you know in detail from Point one to like, you know, to the end, you just tell me. Okay, so they uh, told us on which system we are supposed to sit. And then uh, they told us to log in. So your details exactly. were checked, like, you know, that uh, your admit card and all those things were checked. Yeah. And you were allotted yeah. a particular system with a system number, right? So now, yeah. Now after that, tell me. Uh, so then they told us to log in at 1.30. Mm -hmm. And um, after we put our um, roll number, the password which was there on the admit card then um, there were those three blank spaces which came on the screen which were for some sort of code which we didn't have that was so then we were five, uh, that was provided by the faculty there uh, the, or the exam center was supposed to provide you that I have no idea because then uh, the the faculty there, one of the teachers, they called someone mm -hmm. else and then uh, they were referring to them as sir. So I suppose they were their seniors and then uh, they told the codes and then they gave the codes to each five of us. So what um, code was it like? What code, uh, code exactly it was like? Uh, it was like a number. While you were logging in, one is a username, one is a password. Yeah. So similar to that, what code it was? What is the like you know abbreviation or designation of this code? What is it? They used? were num numbers. They were simply numbers. So numbers, as in it was asking you to enter what? It will tell another enter the password. So something like that. Enter what over there? It was not a password, but it okay. was just a random number. The center code something. No, not a center code. Uh, because they were different for all of us. Asha, okay. For each student, it was something different. Like and... or something like that you are talking about. Yeah. Got it. So and go ahead. This... And so this process, it wasted a lot of time, honestly, because the course, they came one by one. They didn't come all together. So like, for example, someone else's code came and then the teachers are telling them, then like while they are telling them we are still waiting and then someone else's codes come and then my code came so, so this to... the drawing part right yeah so considering that is a drawing part and one of the most important things which is quite astonishing actually that they gave you printed question papers 
which actually shouldn't have happened and uh, okay we will come to that as well so post you logged in what exactly was on your system considering first one was a drawing paper and you had printed question papers given by the faculty yeah. so what did you get to see on the system was there anything or no it was a complete blank screen uh, so like there was a there were two boxes the first box was that the aptitude part and it was like it was saying that the test is not started yet and then down was the box which had the a uh, drawing part and then uh, there was the option to start the test so once we pressed that uh, then they gave us uh, those question papers and then they made us change our seat from that computer table to some other table with all our stuff and then we started the actual exam okay now considering let's say if i am in the exam center and whenever i am pressing that okay that okay i will be so that is the point right for, from which i start my exam so how come uh, like, you know, they took your papers like considering 130 as the starting point of time they took your if it uh, is 90 minutes there is one so they took your papers from 130 that means 3 o'clock they took your papers is it drawing uh, so like uh, once we press on that start yeah. then that a uh, timer had actually started and then for some students who who had uh, uh, logged in before me, for them, they took the paper uh, something around 3, 5 or, you know, uh, 3 o'clock almost. Okay. But but while they were taking our papers, we were not sure that, you know, how much of a time is left because that time, uh, it were the how, how much time is left that they were showing on the system, but we were not so sitting there, we were sitting somewhere else. Some other place. Yeah. But now, so it was like we were not able to focus yeah, no, I got it. Now, the post logging in also, uh, tell me now what happened. Post logging in because your question paper was not coming there. You press that. Okay, I start my exam now. Post that what happened? Post that the faculty they had. Uh, post that the faculty they had the other main computer, the printer. And then our question papers, they came on that computer. They took a print and they gave it to us. But again, this was not all together like one by one they were coming so some got early some got late and then accordingly they took our papers but you know we were not sure when our paper will go so we couldn't really focus on the test we were like ah, they'll take now they'll take now but that was the there issue was always an anxiety and stress working behind yeah. like not being clarified about the time that you are exactly supposed to end your paper let's say if i'm starting yeah. at, instead of 130 if i'm starting at two because this whole process you are talking about, it seems like might like can be described in a few words, but it takes time. So let's say if you have started at two, you like you you are not clarified that my paper will be taken at dot three thirty. So I'll be arranging schedule yeah. accordingly. So anyways, but you tell me your time. When did the when you start and when did they take your paper? So like you know we can understand if there was a delay. Exactly when uh, where you handed the question paper. Tell me that time. Uh, so my paper they took something around three ten. 310 and when were you handed over the question paper for you to read the question? Um, the paper around it started at 130, so 145, something like that. 145 and all. Okay, so from 145, if I consider till uh, 310, then like you know, it is something around, I guess, two to three is one. Uh, so one hour, 20, so you 25 minutes approximately, it's coming to. So around you lost around I guess five to ten minutes. That's what we are talking about here. Yeah. And, uh, so we lose the time, but also the thing is that you know we don't get to fully focused on the exam because um, you know when you change the place and at the back of our mind what is going on is that the time is lost and and uh, at the beginning you know when we are changing the seat we are logging in on the system it is showing that the time of has started but we don't know that they will give us extra time or what they'll do they just like you know tell us to wait for some time wait for some time so they should have at least you know assured us that we'll be given the time so that we can fully focus and be calm most importantly while giving the exam got it uh taking a note of it now considering all these factors was the submission of the paper and all was that smooth or was there any problem in the same and post that when you were going into your part B, was that part smooth, like starting your section B? Um, so now my paper was taken at 3.10. Yeah. 
बट फॉर दी एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट एक्स्ट्रा टाइम वॉज नॉट गिवन बिकॉज एप्टीट्यूड स्टार्ट एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक सो we were not given extra time for aptitude we had so we aptitude, had to the, your system will run a clock over there right on your computer there whenever yeah. you click it did it start with 90 minutes of timer let's say it was supposed to start at 3 now instead of that if you started at like you know 310 was it the 90 minutes timer that it started with or no it was some yeah so so i it started it, yeah tell me it tell. started with the 90 minute timer but Her respective of how much time was left on the screen that it was showing, we had to submit the papers at four thirty sharp. So by that when like we had to submit the test at four thirty. So, wait, wait a minute, I, I guess I'm missing some point. That uh, you told you three ten you submitted your drawing paper. So to switch, considering that to switch from that come to the system and start, I'm expecting another five minutes, three to four minutes is yeah. minimum. So around three fifteen. So three fifteen. So let's say you three fifteen. You press the clock, and you started it. So from there, one and a half hours is four fifteen. It's four forty five. So at sharp four four thirty, if you click on that submit, then there is already fifteen minute ten to fifteen minutes of time running on clock. You already have left. Yeah. Did you do that? Yes, sir. And so when I submitted at four, uh, was it by your own will or was you like was it like you know? uh if like like by force i have to have to tell that the faculty is told that you will have to submit at 3:30 oh yes so those were the instructions for everyone we we submitted at 4:30 so when i submitted the test at 4:30 there was still 15 to 20 minutes left on the timer okay and they told that you have to submit it at 4:30 got yeah. who was the faculty do you remember a name or his name anything like no that? sir they uh, don't okay. they don't disclose Didn't you guys question the other faculty like them that like you know why should we submit if I have time left on my screen? No sir, so because uh, my aptitude score was a bit like low for me, so then I didn't like you know really feel like asking so and stuff. What is score? See, uh, this is also a new thing that this time they are giving the aptitude scores right instantly when you submit your paper, right? Yeah. But that that part score comes once like you know you got seventy eight out of one twenty. that you told me already so score comes when you submit it but why yeah. you knew that okay now you will have to submit what, didn't you question them that why should i because i already have before submitting itself so same thing they got a call from someone else and then that guy told submit at 4:30 so then no see next time uh, definitely this will be there and uh, like you know uh, whatever you have told over here in this video uh, this will be live on youtube and uh, like uh, not as live i must say that this will be as a premiere or uploaded to you on youtube so people will be watching it and what we will be doing is you need to do a mail with all these things in detail like properly mentioning your name your registration number in the nata entrance exam or your roll number you are copy of your admit card yeah. as a proof and mentioning like you know each and every detail about these uh, things if you knew the name of the invigilators that was way more better but since you don't know mentioning the exam center exam center code and each and every detail we will do a mail uh, to council of from your registered email to council of architecture academic section to register a council of architecture and also like you know to um, your data help desk definitely so these are the three mails we will be doing a mail to and if any other student has also faced similar problems this is exactly what you will have to do and come to us let us know your thoughts and let us know like you know what exactly happened with you so we will we'll be able to get a broader idea or a broader aspect on the same that okay is it like you know with this one or two students or is it like like you know students with pan india so uh, this is what should be there and uh, like i don't know wh why or how it has happened because i was speaking with jagdish last day and uh, like you know he is from a different state you are from a different state and you have given exams like in you know, completely other places in completely two other parts of india but they were given this time that's what he mentioned and i clarified that like you know that okay how was that 5 to 10 minute because anyhow if you are given uh, time to start your uh, drawing paper also at the correct time still you there will be a 5 to 10 minute 5 to 7 minutes ka transition gap while you submit the paper and switch so he told that no sir whenever we started that is where the 90 minutes starts so if someone started 1 minute before me he ended 1 minute before me if some i started 2 minutes after him or 1 minute after him my paper got over after that so if they have done this like you know this is just by force and for them to like you know maintain their own schedule it is like and it shouldn't happen anyways uh, like
completing all this aspect and understanding all this aspect. Now, the most important part or the most important factor that we should be talking about is your exam review overall. And definitely we will be uh, like, you know, knowing what all questions came and how did it go, but we will not put much, much focus on this. We already have got an overview and idea, but the main part of this session was this in like, you know, the problems, because that is what we want to address and we want it to be addressed by COA. Because I really personally don't feel and we as an institute do not really feel that this is how it should go for any of the students in India. They are like each and every student writing this exam irrespective of that. Okay, we understand this is not like engineering wherein there are lakhs and lakhs of students in India. But still any student who is preparing for you itself, you are preparing from your 11th standard, right? So there are students who, are, who have given the time, who have given the effort. And after that, if they have to face this, and the sudden transition, first of all, is really a hectic thing. And though considering that, that, okay, it is an exam and that might happen, that is considerable. These kind of behavior, this kind of like, you know, uh, atmosphere in an exam center can, cannot be absolutely tolerated. And it is against the, like, you know, uh, proper, like, you know, it is against the rules or the codes or that is supposed to be followed by the invigilator. The similar way how you are supposed to follow a set of codes and rules as an, ex like, you know, a uh, student, over there, the examiner is also supposed to follow a set of rules and codes. So if you are forced, that is the, then like that is the word I want to focus on. If any student is forced to submit the paper before time by the invigilator, that is absolutely legal and that is no faculty can ask you to do that. Considering your screen is already have a, a like, you know, the uh, time is running. Yeah, if your screen was showing something else and the paper, like paper got, it will automatically be closed. Then we are talking about something else. But if you are asked to submit, and I guess like, you know, every other student will also tell the same, then it's a big problem that we are talking about. Now, quickly moving ahead to how did your exam go and the questions and all, what was in part A? In short, if you can just quickly describe. So part A, there were three questions, mm -hmm. uh, two drawing questions and one uh, model making. Okay. Uh, the mm -hmm. uh, model making was a surprise because... Like I didn't. Part A. I as not of, um, yeah, as of you have mentioned, I guess uh, part A questions were where uh, you were given power. question number one was a three D drawing to make a study table out of books. That's kind of yeah. an abstract composition. Uh, I got it. And you were supposed to color it. No, no, no pencil shading. Okay, got it. Uh, the second question you were supposed to color, wherein two D yeah. uh, drawing of a mural on the entrance of a wedding hall in a city. Uh, show the blend with it being urban color to show the vibrancy. Got it. And the other one. So now for students who have not written the Nata first attempt of exam, this is for an important update. The third one, wherein you have 30 marks and you are supposed to make a 3D like, you know, composition. It is mentioned, you go and check out the brochure. It's a composition thing mentioned, but we expected it like on the final day when we are having our final discussion before exam, we expected it could be something like, you know, your uh, model or stuff because like the words which were used kind of depicted towards that and that is exactly what was given can you please describe quickly you were given some foam or uh, sponge models with some glue shapes right yes, sir, sir. yeah uh, they gave a box in which there are these uh, black color sponges mm -hmm. of various shapes and they gave a gum and then um, on the question paper they tell like what we have to depict using them so we have to make accordingly got it fine now apart from this can we just quickly move on to section b what was given in section b just overall idea of the same um so for section b like i personally i had prepared like you know history of architecture properly the famous architects the uh, the famous buildings and stuff, but none of it had actually come for the exam. So, and even the maths was very simple, like uh, without 11th, 12th also, anyone can clear it. It was that easy. Um, also, the questions, there were uh, many th such questions wherein, you know, a figure is given are completely made up of triangles or squares and then we have to count the number of triangles or the number of squares. Okay. And um, questions on 
materials like they are giving aluminium wrought iron constructions materials uh, which are used for construction and the prefin parts of a buildings and all these are the kind of questions you receive yeah and one of the most important topics which was supposed to be covered and which we always cover for every student like history of architecture and all and stuffs related to the same no questions came from there neither from yeah. questions were there for any famous architects or like you know their constructions and all which is quite astonishing yeah. anyways i guess we have got a pretty good idea of the same and with that we will be coming like you know ending the session and bring a conclusion over here so uh, practically like you know these are the problems faced by the students and we really hope like i don't know if it is faced by any other student or not but at least it is faced by you and the other three to four students who were there in that exam hall that particular day 7th of april at uh, like you know respective college what you have just mentioned i don't remember the name it is in the beginning of the video people who are watching they can play back and check it out uh so most importantly the factor over here is what we want to talk about is if council of architecture is watching this or any of the other like you know institutions uh we want to bring it to your notice that we really don't expect that students or as a student a student never expect that expects like you know that there, there is something like this that is supposed to happen at the exam center and if something has happened like you know there should be a rectification or there should be like you know a solution should be provided to this that is what we are expecting and most importantly if anyone else has faced something like this feel free to mention in the comments and let us know you can connect us with our contact number mentioned in the description box and let's try to figure all these things out and side by side also let's try to focus on the second and the third attempt and get like you know the best score out of it crack nata get admission into one of the best possible colleges in india and have a secure career okay so that's all and with that like you know we will be ending this session um hope you all have like you know got some quite a good info from this session i uh, like you know really cannot say you have enjoyed the session because it's not about enjoying at the end of the day uh it is all about problems that we are talking about over here so make sure you share it with all your friends uh and like you know whosoever is writing the nata exam also your uh, parents as well they should be aware about it and be cautious guys so if something is supposed to happen like you know in the upcoming days you like for you if you are giving exam in the same center also make sure you question the person you have the right don't make yourself feel like that okay i'm 18 years old so like you know i cannot question the other person it's your legal right over there at that point if your screen is showing some time and the examiner comes to you and tells that submit your paper now don't agree to that and do not submit you yourself will never click on that button it's your right you tell the examiner if you want to complete like first of all this you are wasting my time and if you want to end this paper right over here when my screen is showing this amount of time i will not click on anything neither the keyboard neither the mouse or stuff i am not touching the desktop my hands are in the air you click and you end the paper let him do that for you if he is like you know if he can do that let him do that because you will be in like you know in the upcoming days if there is a issue with that and like you know if we are taking it forward to council of architecture he will be in an issue because he clicked on your mouse and he ended the paper instead of you so make sure you never do like you know if some examiner is asking you tell that okay i will not touching it you do whatever you want to do but i am not agreeing or i am not complying to your orders of submitting the paper before the time that is shown on the screen because legally i am not supposed to and i want my paper i will need the full time that is being shown on the screen and i want like you know to like take the full time that is right over there that's all guys thanks a lot and see you all in the upcoming videos hope you find it helpful and uh, stay tuned with us to like you know get the latest updates and check it all out thanks a lot to sara as well for sharing this all details in like all these details uh, like you know i hope each and every one of the student at least those four five students who were with you if you are uh, watching this make sure you connect us so like you know we can understand your perspective on the same as well and that's it guys thanks a lot see you sara thanks a lot